Entry 280. Today we are concluding the weekly story of Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker. Without further ado, let's get right to it. Part 5. Love and Death. Despite the courtroom chaos, the trial continued and eventually concluded on September 20th, 1989 with Ramirez being convicted of 13 counts of murder, 5 counts of attempted murder, 11 sexual assaults, and 14 burglaries. He was sentenced to die in the gas chamber. His response? Big deal. Death always went with the territory. See you in Disneyland. Thanks to multiple appeals, Ramirez would stay on death row for 23 years. During this time, he garnered many fans and admirers. One such fan was Doreen Leoy, hopefully I'm saying her name, the last name right. After a long correspondence, the pair was married on October 3rd, 1996 in San Quentin State Prison. Although Leoy had promised to commit suicide the day Ramirez's death sentence was carried out, the pair eventually separated. Suffering from B-cell lymphoma and a chronic hepatitis C infection, Ramirez died at Marin General Hospital on June 7, 2013. Not sure when his, like when the day he was going to be killed. Don't know when that was going to be carried out, but it seems that this is my personal opinion. Criminals who are destined to be, that are supposed to be killed, are not killed. They're just left on death row for forever and a day. And then they either die from illness or they eventually do get, they suffer death. But I don't understand, probably because... I don't know a whole lot, but I don't understand why criminals are on death row for so long. Like, surely they could speed up, like, not have so many on death row, you know? That makes sense? That's just, that's just my thinking. Next time we will be doing the weekend quote, as always, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Be sure to give the video a like, comment down below. Also hit the subscribe and bell notification so you're made aware of new videos. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace, love, funkiness. Bye guys.